Hi everyone. Currently, I'm in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. You're gonna see me in this outfit in my San Miguel video if I make that video. But while I'm like dressed and in a calm place, I wanted to do the intro for my wedding dress shopping video because I realized that a bunch of my footage from that is just like me trying on dresses with like no commentary. So I wanted to provide some context to what I was doing, my thought process on dress shopping and like things that I've learned throughout the process. So in my video, you'll see that the first time I tried on dresses, I went alone and I honestly did that just because I was like getting antsy and excited to try on dresses. Um, but I also felt like it was important to try them on and get like my own opinion without anyone else's influence. So I wanted to see like what I felt good in, if the dresses that I thought I would like were ones that actually looked good on me. So that's what I did when I went to Modern Trousseau in Georgetown, DC. Um, it's a smaller dress shop. They have like, it's all like custom made, but they're smaller designers, so they're not like well known. And so because of that, the dresses are slightly more affordable, but like still very custom, still very unique. And I really enjoyed the experience there. And then from there, once I started dress shopping with like family and friends, um, I went to Modern Truth. So again, I also went to Corrine's Bridal, which I love. But they carry a lot of high-end designers, so everything from Reem Acra, Oscar de la Renta, Vera Wang, Inez de Santo, Monique Lillier, so Catherine Tash, like I can go on and on. They have tons of designers, things that aren't even sold at other boutiques. Um, so I have really loved working with them. And to give you some context, on my like journey of what I've wanted in terms of wedding dresses. So when I was very young, I always said I wanted a Vera Wang dress. Um, to me, that was like very classic. And she was like the wedding dress designer, wedding dress designer. So I was like, oh, I always wanted a Vera Wang dress. And then when I got older, I started thinking that like, I wanted more of something that was like lace and like, maybe deep cut. So I started thinking that I wanted a dress by Berta um, because a lot of their dresses are just both very like feminine and romantic, but still sexy. And then in recent years, I was thinking I wanted more of like a Grace Kelly look, like high neck, lace, big dress, long sleeves. And so, those were the vibes that I kind of went in thinking about when I was looking at dresses. Like I definitely wanted, I knew no matter what, I wanted a sleeve. Like I never saw myself wearing just like a strapless dress. So I thought like either cap sleeves or um, long sleeves would be really cool. Um, but then from there, it's just like, I'm not sure if a ball gown is gonna work on me or mermaid or A-line, I'm pretty short. So that, obviously would have impacted like what kind of dress silhouette worked best on me. So that's kind of the mindset I went into trying on dresses with. Like I just wanted to try on tons of things and see what worked well. So I went to Modern Trousseau's first and then once my family joined, I did Modern Trousseau and Corrine's Bridal. And I also got a chance to go to Monique Lillier in New York. I went to Mark Ingram in New York trying to think of other places. And I think there might be a part two to this video because I do end up going to Berta. I definitely tried on tons and tons of dresses. And then I what I ended up getting was actually the first dress that I tried on at Kareen's, which I would say is a combination of like what I would have picked as a young, like the younger version of me and then what I would have picked now. And I'm not gonna show you that dress. You'll see it once my wedding stuff comes out, but, um, it was definitely an interesting experience and I love trying on everything wedding related and I've had a lot of fun doing that. So excited to take you on that journey. 
During my first visit to Modern Shoes so I quickly learned that I liked both A-line and ball gown dresses best. These dresses were sateen instead of lace, which is interesting because I had never thought of that, but they looked so classy. Okay, perfect. Okay, and this is Dive something in. that yep. the people at Modern Tree so recommended, like taking the top of one dress and the bottom of another. And so I could have both the lace top and the silk sateen bottom. And oh my goodness, this method was incredible and really shook me and I wow, like wow, honestly wow. almost went for this look yeah I it love the pleat exactly I what I was looking for initially that. yeah it definitely is a different dress or a different bottom and again something about the silk sateen just seems so preppy and classic and I wish I was that bride but I didn't end up being that bride and I tried on this one last lace dress that honestly wasn't really my my type but overall it was a great experience you can see that i ended up going back to modern trousseau with my family to look at my favorite dresses but they honestly weren't really into it my mom didn't get excited about any dresses until we went to Crane's and she saw the full selection and immediately lit up here i'd say typically begins at around five ish and we'll build up from there the right, Leela Rose in the middle, and then Vera Wang all the way on the left. Um, Vera is going to vary. She's a little bit more contemporary, almost mm -hmm. editorial. Um, Leela in the middle here um, seems to still look very refined and sophisticated, but has a little, a little edge to it, if you will. Um, to 40 different measurements. For her gowns, they typically take anywhere from 10 to 13 months to produce. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I guess it's a no. This was one of my favorite dresses that I tried on. It's by Reem Accra. You can see the sleeves are gorgeous and detachable. And just this fabric was just really cool. The dress is super flattering. I like that it feels a little bit see-through too. Hands down, this was my favorite dress other than the one that I got and I still think about this dress. No, my mom's gonna hate this, but. Um, it's definitely worth trying on and we're showing her. What do you think? The next shop I went to was Mark Ingram Atelier in New York. They carry a lot of Reem Acre as well and a lot of Monique Lillier, which is what you'll see me trying on, as well as one yeah. Inez DeSanto dress. Okay, now this is the Inez dress, and this was the most outrageous dress that I tried on. I loved it in theory, but I could never actually wear it. It's so heavy, um, but super gorgeous. This was another Monique Lillier dress. A lot of her dresses will come with a bolero, so you can kind of swap things out. And what you don't see is that at one point I wear the bolero backwards, and I thought that would have been a really cool look. Um, but ultimately, I didn't end up going with this. Okay, so I am going to Monique Lillier today. Um, to try on dresses. I got off the wait list yesterday. Like they randomly called me in the middle of the day and they were like, you have an appointment? And I was like, I have an appointment, so exciting. This will be the third or fourth shop that I've gone to to try on dresses. I'm really pumped because I think they have a lot of the styles of what I want. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys what their dresses are like. I have a bathroom. Traditional, simple, elegant, 
better than mine. It's actually crazy. My favorite settings. Oh, my video settings, I have like HD. Does feel very, um, like princessy? Yeah, I like the train on. Yeah, the train is pretty up. Its leaves are really fun. I feel like very few people, sorry, I come in, could, but like you absolutely can. I mean, like I think the Mickey Mouse one is the So I'm in the elevator now, up to Ring Opera. Um, I'm pretty excited because I feel like they have a lot of my vibe of dress, like kind of long sleeve. No, I'm not. This dress I found on Instagram and it's the main reason I wanted to come to the shop. The big sleeves and the bows are just my style, but ultimately it didn't look as good on me in person. The next few dresses I try on are ones that were recommended by um, the stylist in the shop. But really most of them were not in what the vibe that I was looking for. Um, so I had liked the ones at Kareen's much better. Hello everyone. So today I'm going dress shopping again. Back to the place in Georgetown that I went with my family to Kareen's. I think this is going to be the final time that I'm going dress shopping. Um, so I'm really excited. Let's show them without the jacket. My mom's gonna be like, you need it to cover up. But this is... It's beautiful. <laughs> so that video ended fairly abruptly because the next steps were me basically saying yes to the dress that I'm gonna be wearing at my wedding. So I didn't wanna include that in there and the I didn't take that video, someone else took it and it's not very good anyways. But you'll see the dress that I picked once the wedding happens. Um, but I wanted to kind of close this video out and give you a quick rundown of like extra wedding dress tidbits that I learned throughout the process. Because when I started, I really didn't even know how much wedding dresses cost. I even like looked up YouTube videos to try to figure out like, what can I expect to pay for these? What's the range? And you can find some dresses ready to wear off the rack, but those prices are very different than when like you go to a traditional wedding dress shop and like buy something that's custom made for you. So what I learned at the shop Modern Trousseau, the very first one that I went to, that's the one I said was like a little bit less expensive. Again, still really nice dresses, well-made custom, but they're less well-known designers. And from what I gathered, their custom dresses were typically from like 3,000 to 6,000, on average, probably at like four or 5,000. Um, and you could also go in there and buy something right off the rack that would be slightly less expensive or maybe like half the price. Um, and then as you could tell from my videos at Kareen's, the bridal stylist that I worked with started explaining the prices for each designer. So what I realized is that the range is very wide. So a lot of like designer wedding dresses range from like 5,000 to 15,000 and some are even more than that, depending on like how high end um, the designer is. I'll also say that I think the best way to figure out the pricing is like once you start your appointments and stuff, just call and ask them like, hey, I'm interested in this dress by this designer. Like what is their, the price range for those dresses? I will say something I realized, like one of the dresses that I tried on that were, it was like a Monique Lillier dress and I ended up trying it on again during like a sample sale and I realized the price tag was like a lot lower. I think it was 4,500 and that was because it was part of their diffusion line, which is like a lower, a lower price range line that Monique has. Um, so 
that's also another way to get the slightly lower cost dresses. Um, sample sales are a good way to do that too, but usually those are off the rack, so the dresses just have to fit you or have to be altered to fit your body. And then something that I also realized and a friend told me that they utilized was um, the like bridal dress resale websites. So you can like go online, search for the dress that you're looking for on these resale websites. And usually you'll get like a pretty good discount on them. Um, I feel like I searched for some of the ones that I was interested in and didn't find them, but you can probably find similar things from the same designer. So those are, some things I learned just about like pricing and how to get better deals. So I hope you enjoyed this video overall. I think I'll have another bridal outfit video as well because I tried on so many more things um, and I'm still looking for my second look. But if you have any questions or comments on wedding dresses or weddings in general, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, if you, there's anything else that you wanna see in terms of weddings, travel, food, DC life, feel free to let me know and I can, I'm always looking for video ideas. But thank you so much for watching my video and please like and subscribe. Thank you.